Hi everyone, welcome to Diamond Rose Tarot and your pick a card reading. Will they be coming back? Your ex, your connection, whoever is it is that's on your mind that has for some reason disappeared from your life. Maybe you had an argument, maybe, 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 maybe. We just don't know. But let's shed some light on that today. Please, Oracle, give us the message for the YouTube viewers for this pick a card reading. Will they be coming back? Will they be coming back? Will they, oops, okay. Will they be coming back? To the YouTube viewers, four pals, and today we're going to do a different type of spread. We're going to do a horseshoe spread, which you'll see. So please tell, give us the messages for the pile one people. Messages for pile one, will they return to them? Will their connection return to them? Will they reach out? Will they communicate? What does it look like? What do they have to say? So we have pile one. It's from the top. Pile two. Pile three and pile four. Let's take that one. All oh, these cards are so big to make space. So make sure you have a nice clear mind, take some deep breaths, think about the question, are they coming back, what will they say, what's happening with them, and take your time, whatever your instincts show you to, just go with your first thought. go. As straight as I can get them, sorry. Right, if you need more time, pause the video here and we shall begin. Pile one. Will they return to you? Your oracle Never-ending story. Hmm. This can represent your thoughts, your thought patterns going round and round. Self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary drama. There's a story woven through the imperfect fabric of life that tells of hurt and loss, rejection and humiliation self-loathing and arrogance and all manner of suffering born of unnecessary dramas. It is the old story whose refrain that you cannot do this, must not go there, should not say that, lest your world come crumbling down. Today, know that none of this is actually true. The sky is not falling. The voice you hear <clears throat> is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in the lie, wants to protect you and needs to be seen as a victim. Love that lost piece of you, fear is all it knows. Distorted guidance is preventing you from being true to yourself. 
You are not your story, and the narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part, small and vulnerable and easily soothed. <coughs> so, I think that's your thoughts at the moment. Running wild. So, the seeker, you, high priestess. So, you're tuning into your intuition here. You're aware, you're fully aware of this energy. The expected Ace of Swords, expecting communication. Unexpected Empress. Mm. Obstacles. Ace of Cups. Advice. Two of Pentacles. Near future, emperor, long-term future, king of swords. So I, I do see communication here for you. Perhaps this is something that you're blowing out of proportion. And it's unnecessary, perhaps. Your obstacle here is your emotions. So let's start at the beginning. High Priestess, you're, you're in tune with yourself at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. You're in tune with yourself. You've got these two beautiful divine feminine energies and you've got these two beautiful aces as well. You also have the Empress and the Emperor. So that is very fortunate for you. That shows that shows that somebody is here, yeah? They, they're solid, they're grounded, they're not going anywhere. I feel, I feel that what you're not expecting, though, is that you're sort of overwhelmed with this emotion, the Empress and the Ace, the Aces. You're overwhelmed with all your feelings, your uh, what you want to say to this person is is um, is big. It's very big. You've got a lot you want to say, and it will happen for you. At first, your connection will be um, as the emperor. So they're, they're very stubborn emperors. Very. You know, it's their, what they say goes, it's their way or the highway, you know, they are right. You have to go by what, you have to follow their direction, basically. So that's in the near future. And then the long-term future, you have the King of Swords. So this is fair, rational communication. So you will have communication with this person. But you need to relax <clears throat> your advice is the two of pentacles so you need to find a balance you think you have um you have this empress energy which is beautiful energy don't get me wrong it's like you're in tune with yourself but at the same time you're overflowing this is your obstacle your obstacle is your emotions what you or you this is birth as well this is birth creative energy you you want to you've got the so much that you want to say there's so much that it's overwhelming it's too much at this moment you need to find this balance here with these two pentacles balance these two aces because sometimes your um your communication may become overly influenced by your emotions and that won't sit well, <laughs> that won't sit well with somebody like this you know they they are not the most emotional of the court cards to say the least you know they not that they don't have emotions but they when they come to you when they want to communicate with you it will be logical rational fair you will they'll want to talk about things in a matter of fact way and they will want to lead, they will want to lead whatever is going to unfold with you. 
they will lead it and you will follow, that kind of thing. You will have to sort of adhere to their wishes. I was going to read to you the relationship side of this never-ending story because I think it might be relevant for you. Thirty-seven. Relationship message. Sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for other, more complex reasons. Shame, fear of intimacy and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to the success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is. However, right now you have an opportunity for important healing but you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones. Have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives. None of them were ever true anyway. So, this is about you needing to chill out this is here for you. There's communication coming to you, but you, you really need to find this balance. I see as the high priestess is somebody that knows everything. So you, you with the ace of swords as well, it's like you feel you know the truth. You already know the truth. That's that kind of energy. I already know the truth. So you just come and tell me. And that won't work. I won't work with this person. So you need to balance these two aces with this one. Ace of Pent two of Pentacles is the juggling act, but it's also these stormy waters. And the stormy waters go up and down and up and down. Like in the right away is the infinity symbol like a never-ending balancing act. So you need to find that balance. And well, you will, you know, you have the emperor in your near future. So you will be able to find this balance and stabilize this energy. And I think when you do do that, then communication may come through to you since in the long-term future, this king of swords. So he will communicate with you but you have a little bit of work to do with this never-ending story. You have to search within yourself and, like the oracle says, find these narratives. Because you really, really are sure that you know. But it brings you emotional overwhelmment, which is blocking anything, you know? It's sort of clouding your judgment. Oh, it's so... I hope that makes sense for you. Is there anything else I can pick out from this? Let's see how how is this King of Swords coming across to you in the long term future. But you do have positive cards as an overall two aces, Empress and Emperor. It's very, very positive. So you can relax. How is this King of Swords coming across? A pile one, please, Tarot. Well, we know he's coming across as King of Swords, but let's see if we can get one more. Judgment. So there's a readiness here for forgiveness. So that's beautiful, Power One. Beautiful. You could be dealing with an air sign, you could be dealing with an Aries. Or anyone, you know, but just saying. Sag. But that's a beautiful end for you. Forgiveness, rebirth, things coming back to light and being healed. Balance. Balance. <laughs> All right, pile one. Good luck to you. All the best. Bye-bye.
pile two. Oh, they coming back to you, pile two. Let's see your oracle. Here and now. Here and now is about being present. So not focusing too much on the past and not focusing too much on the future. Thirty-two. Being fully present in the moment, living one day at a time. Everything happens in the now, in the present. Only this moment counts. You have what it takes to handle anything today if you let go of the need to look into the future or reflect on the past. Be present and notice what is going on right now. This very moment has the potential for you to create miracles in your life. So we'll come back. If we need the relationship message, we'll come back to it. But for now, let's see what Tarot is saying for you. So you are the seeker. Seven of Swords. Expected. The feral, feral, Temperance. Unexpected. Wheel of Fortune. Obstacle. Queen of Swords. Advice, King of Wands, Near Future, Seven of Wands, Long Term Future, Ace of Pentacles. So again, I think this is a positive outcome for you, Pile 2. There will be something, there will be something in the future here. I mean, I see you, you appearing together side by side. Even though the positions are, you know, we need to take them into account, I still see that it's a good sign that you come out side by side. And to have Ace of Pentacles in the long-term future suggests the potential for something solid. Something solid can be, you know, be brought here. So at the moment, I see you are sort of struggling, struggling to, with this, um, trying to figure things out, I think. Trying to heal from sort of sneaky behavior that has taken place. But this is you, so it's like you're stuck in that energy. Um, perhaps you have, for some of you, you may be feeling a little bit vindictive. <laughs> like, I don't know, like you're gonna have to, because this can be about spying and things like that. So maybe you're a bit stalker mode at the moment, but you are healing. You are being moderate, you know, you, you're still wanting to know what's going on. And you know, if you have, if you have zero contact with somebody, it's only natural that you would want to find out what's going on. But try not to be too much in this energy because it will just drive you mad. What happened in the past? What happened? What happened? What are they, what are they doing now? What are they doing now? How can I find out? Who can I ask? That kind of stuff. But then you're also expecting this. So I see that you are expecting healing with this person, like a resolve. What you do, do not expect though is the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is if, if you are um, in no contact, the Wheel of Fortune suggests that there will be contact. If you are having contact, then the Wheel of Fortune will suggest that then you will stop having contact, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. I'll get some clarification on it, but the Wheel of Fortune often indicates that your obstacle is your, I see it a bit like this, these swords, sword energy is um, feeling um, like I'm not, you know, like oh, the Queen of Swords energy is no BS. 
you know, she's like strict and she will get to the root of the bottom of anything. She'll use her mind, she'll use a strategy to get to the bottom of something and she can be very um, forthright, pushy, you know, she, sneaky or you know, she can, you don't, you don't want to mess with the Queen of Swords, that is for sure. So at the moment, this is your obstacle. So this is your energy at the moment. And perhaps you're angry. And your advice is King of Wands. So if this is the person you're dealing with, the advice, EIC, communication. Maybe you will have to instigate this communication. But beware of this. This king may very well be defensive. So you have to be pay, pay close attention to how you're coming across here. If you've got any of this seven of swords in the back of your mind while you're communicating, this will get his this guy's back right up straight away. And, you know, King of Wands is reactive and can blow his top. And you don't want that. So be careful of this because this is in your near future. The Seven of Wands where there's um, likely to be a little bit of uh, defensive energy between you. But then, long term, Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning. So I'm going to get some clarity for you. What's the advice for Pile 2 when dealing with this king? Because it might just be that after um, after some he after some this some time apart, you know, because this is moderation and healing. So after some time apart, you might decide to reach out to this person. But right now, this needs to happen. Space. Focusing on each day, each moment and not wandering off into the past, not wondering what they're doing, not, you know, not being in this, overcoming this. Hmm. But then another thought though, for some, for some of you, as advice, this could be to, to speak up, you know? Because he's actually in the advice position. So this could be your advice, is to actually speak up, take on that one's energy and have it out. You know, if that's gonna help, let's get some clarity on that advice. So whether it's, Sometimes, you know, it's good to just get angry. It makes you more empowered. When you feel like this, this is disempowerment. This is not knowing, not knowing what's going on. So needing to find out or feel, feeling lost and having to know the answers to something. Feeling disempowered. But when you start to get mad, it brings you up. I mean, obviously, it's not good to be mad all the time because, you know, you don't want to, like, hurt anyone or anything. But you, you could just say, you're out of order. I don't know what you're actually thinking. Whatever you're thinking, you could just say it. Clarify this advice, please. Is this a communication or is this Pio 2's energy? Could be both. 
some of you, it might be, go ahead, say what you actually really think to this person. That might be the change in you, actually. You might go from swords to wands as well. So we have a couple of stories here for you, Pile 2. So you, whichever resonates the most for you, you go with that. Let's get some clarity on the advice, please, Tarot. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about being patient, waiting, evaluating, considering things, analysing, which you already do have that kind of energy. So maybe Tarot is asking you to think about that. Think about that advice. Consider what would you say to this person. But not for too long. Not for too long. <laughs> Clarity on that advice. High Priestess. Well, perhaps if it was going to help, it won't, it won't be helpful for all of you, but search within, it's just searching within, search within yourself and figure out what would help you. Would it help you to have a conversation with this person who may well be defensive or for you to just say what you actually really think? Will that help you to become more present? You know, sometimes something like that will help you become more present. It's out of your system a bit, you know. But anyway, back onto the Ace of Pentacles. And we digress. Please show us a bit more about this Ace of Pentacles, please, for the outcome for Pile 2. The outcome for Pile 2. Please give us clarity on this Ace of Pentacles for the long-term future between Pile 2 and their person. Will they come back to them? Some more. Tell us more about this Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. One more, please. Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> I see you having some kind of idea. I see you um, having some... with us, Well, in connection... It's, I must be coming in connection with this person, but you have some kind of idea that is based in the physical world, like whether it's to do with where you live or your business or anything like that, or your stability. Is the, you're having um, something is offered and you're taking it and you're, you're, you're creating this. It's like, um, this, this isn't always about abandoning something because why would you abandon that? You wouldn't, would you? So this is about searching for something something's calling you so you're being called towards something that is queen of pentacles so something is going to happen between you that it gives you something it gives you this new beginning that manages to make you feel completely grounded and connected and stable and happy let's get one more to see where is he going to be in all of this and where will this king be in all of this I'm going to put it on this side 
Where is the king in all of this, Tarot? The sun. It's, I feel like this king is helping you to manifest something. This is manifestation, right? So this king, whether it's directly or indirectly, it is giving you something. And it's giving you Queen of Pentacles. So it's like a something beautiful. And this is like a higher wisdom as well. You're being called towards something better, stronger, more solid. And this one is giving it to you. He's helping you. So this is um, it's quite rocky. It's a bit of a rocky ride for you. But the outcome here in the long term future is very, very beautiful. This king is helping you to manifest the life that you want. But it is a rocky ride. There will be ups and downs. You have, so sorry to make it all negative when it's been all so positive, but you know, you have this wheel of fortune and you have this, this is your energy at the moment. So at the moment, you know, you have to ride this, have to ride this storm. And this one will be on the, on this, in the same storm, right? But it's like, in the long term future, you're creating something beautiful with this person. So just try and be present and do what you, do whatever it takes to give you that peace of mind in the present moment. Whatever it takes. Okay, pile two. All the best of luck to you. Bye bye. Right, pile three. Will they come back to you, pile three? A leg up. Oh, that's a beautiful card. That's a beautiful card. 34. Receiving help, delegating authority, interdependence. You've come to a point where going it alone is no longer optimal for you. Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align with who can give you a leg up during this next phase of your journey. Help comes to you in all the areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept that aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and interdependence to co-mingle, miracles happen. Now is such a time. Lovely. So the seeker, you, the lovers, oh la la, expected, nine of pens, knight of pentacles, unexpected, two, oh Jesus, today is a good day for tarot readings, I can tell you, obstacles, hierophant, advice, ten of pentacles, oh my god, near future, long term future, Blimey, <laughs> pile three, wow. And the last card you had there was the Ace of Wands as well. Wow. Uh, nothing to worry about here, pile three. I think you can, it's safe to say that this one will be returning to you. Yes. Yes, definitely. There's um, this is strong commitment here. You have all the commitment cards here. You have the King of Cups as the outcome. So, you know, this this is a big thumbs up from Tarot for you, Pile 3. This one is returning. So at the moment, perhaps you're trying to decide what to do about this. Is this, well, obviously, because you're watching this, what do you do? Is this the one? 
What do I do? What shall I do? I think I love them. Are they the one? Where did I go? What do I do? And so, and you're expecting like, um, I guess you, you must already know on a, some level because this person is somebody that offers you a commitment, but it's a slow, it's a slow burner, the Knight of Pentacles. So he's there, he's present, but he's not forthcoming. I mean, he, he gets there eventually, but he takes his time. But what you're not expecting, so you're expecting this slow energy. What you're not expecting is a union. So you have a union. And maybe even somebody, you have this leg up, so maybe somebody will help things along for you, perhaps. Your obstacle is the Hierophant. So with this um, next to Ten of Pentacles as well, it could be to do with some kind of family traditions that um, the person that you're inquiring about is, is it may be quite important in their life that they have this, or maybe it's just the fact that they want this strong commitment. Maybe that is uh, a bit too much too soon for you because you want this, maybe you want this slow, slow energy. But the advice is the Ten of Pentacles, so. I'm gonna get some more on that. So this is about working together. You could be working with this person. This could be somebody that you work with. This could be somebody that you interact with through a various, you know, non-romantic way, like a spiritual group or um, artistic projects, any kind of projects. Somebody that works for you, somebody you work for, and somebody at your work. It could be anything, but you will be working together with this person. You'll be cooperating with this person. It could be to do through, through a family connection. But this person is um, is definitely somebody that wants to commit to you. And then you have King of Cups. Long term future King of Cups. So King of Cups is the person that will offer you their heart. Who's emotionally mature. Will work together with you to create this Ten of Pentacles with you. This this could even be prosperity for you with this leg up here. This person could help you to create prosperity for yourself and for your family and your connection with head with them. You see, you have a lot of pentacles here. You have a leg up. You have beautiful cards. Very beautiful cards. Let's see what else we can get for you. Give us some clarity on the advice here for Pile 3, please, Tarot. What is the advice here for Pile 3? What is the advice for Pile 3? Give us some clarity on that Ten of Pentacles. Strength. So this is about you being grounded and being strong. Maybe you will, um, you might have to, the, this is about give and take, right? So if this person is all, um, has uh, traditions or any culture or any sort of ways that they're very stuck on, that you would have to, you would have to cooperate with them on that. But you can do it. You can do it and it's not it's a positive thing it's something you'll enjoy it's a legacy it's uh, something that's passed down for the generation so i see you being a part of that being a part of somebody's legacy and joining in but as well as speaking up for yourself you know stating what you want what you don't want what you like what you don't like and this person will work with you look there, they will work with you. 
This person likes you a lot, pile three. A lot, 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 lot. It's gorgeous. I'm going to read to you the relationship message. So, but just for you, as your question is at the moment, they're kind of around, they're around, and I see them coming towards you soon. So, uh, and as well, wait, wait till you hear this. Relationships that are healthy thrive on interdependence. It's important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you. You must allow people to support you just as you are there for them. This is a time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs and to ask for them to be fulfilled. Trust, you will be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind though. Ask and it is given. So that sort of reinforces this advice, doesn't it? You have to speak up about what you like and what you don't like. And this person, this person though, they, they will do anything for you. They, they, I think they love you. This is love. This is love. I can't say much more than that pile of three. All right. <laughs> Enjoy this energy, you lucky people. And... Have a great July. I'll see you again. Bye. And lastly, pile four. Will they come back to you, pile four? Let's see your oracle. Time for a nap. <gasps> oh, are you exhausting yourself, pile four? have a quick read from this book rest rejuvenation and renewal temporary non-action allowing dreams to arise this is a time to step away and rest let the cares of your world go go into a state of non-action and allow yourself to be free of the shackles of your goals, your lists, your desires. Nothing is as, is as important as rest, detachment and neutrality. The overly busy mind can block you from inner wisdom if you don't step back. Take a seat and rest. Be willing to let dreams surface and ideas flow through you. Absent any force or conscious direction, as you observe without engagement now. Peaceful energy for you, Pile 4. Let's see what Tara was saying. So as the seeker, you are the Knight of Wands. What you're expecting, Eight of Swords. What you're not expecting, Eight of Pentacles. Your obstacle, Devil, Advice. Queen of Cups, near future, hangman, long term future, fool. So I see that you've got a lot of energy at the moment with that Knight of Cups. You're feeling quite energetic and perhaps adventurous. You've got an adventurous spirit, but maybe a little bit excessive at the moment with this. Time for a nap card here. So anyway, that's your energy at the moment. What you're expecting. I see that your um, hopes are not very high at the moment <laughs> with this Eight of Swords. So you're expecting not to be heard. You're expecting not to be listened to. You know, you're expecting to... You're expecting no nothing from anybody, or if anything, it's anxiety, an inability to, to communicate, which is interesting because you have this as your energy. 
but you're expecting this. What you're not expecting, though, is um, Eight of Pentacles. So this is about working diligently on something. But when next to the devil, it can be... It can be like workaholic, it can be obsessive energy as well. So it's like obsessively working on something, whether that's to do with this connection or whether that's to do with something separate. Is uh, It'll be different for each of you, I think. Maybe there is a bit of obsessive energy here. So that is your obstacle, this devil. Overindulgence, workaholic, workaholics are overindulging in emotions, you know, like um, being overly emotional. So you're in a place at the moment of high anxiety. So your advice is quite literally take a nap. Try and settle those energies that you have. You've got a lot of fire, lots of fire. Well, this is earth, but it has that kind of feel, you know? Perhaps you're feeling a bit playful as well. You just want to go out there and have some fun. But then it's like a... You know, it's like a, you've got this, what you want to do, and then some, you're being held back by something. And it's this devil. This devil's holding you back. So your advice is Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is emotionally she's in tune with her emotions she's loving forgiving artistic empathic compassionate she's beautiful in tune with the water maybe you know going to water strikes me here i think maybe for some of you to take to the water go swimming Go paddling, go to your nearest water park, lake, river, and be be with nature. Put, dip your toes in like this queen, and try and get this devil out. Rest, recuperate. It's like tuning into your emotions again, like without the distortion of the devil. So I do see you doing that, though, in the near future. The near future is hangman, so it's about changing your perspective, cutting something out, cutting out this devil, realizing that it's you know it's not working for you. So I do see you taking this advice. So that this, and then as well the outcome, the long term future. You have the fall, and the fall is a fresh start, whether that's with your connection or without. It's a fresh start, but for the energy here, I don't know. I, I think it's better if you're without for for the time being. Maybe something that you could. I don't know if this person's going to come to you, and if they did, I don't know if it'd be good for you. I'm going to have to say no. Sorry, Pile 4, but what's most important here is that you balance your energy. Let me read to you from the book, Time for a Nap. The relationship message. When it comes to matters of the heart, don't make any plans right now. If you're not partnered, it's a good time. It's good to take this time out to get to know yourself. If you're involved with someone, relax and just be with your partner. This is going to be an uneventful moment in time. Don't force anything now. 
allow things to flow naturally and a beautiful renewal will take place all by itself. Yes, you have that. You do have that. Patience is the key to your heart's desire right now. Withdraw from action in your relationship and give it a rest so that your love and connection can become rejuvenated. So I'm going to have to agree with the oracle here, Pile 4. This isn't, this isn't saying that your person won't come back to you. It's not saying that at all. But it's saying what's most important right now is that you disconnect from this energy. You need to look after yourself. You need to think about how it's affecting you. And you will do that. You will be able to do that. And you will have a fresh start. But it's not, it's not telling you about the connection. Because what's most important here is you. Okay, I hope that's, I hope that's not too negative. I hope that you can take some positive out of this. Because you do have this. You are overcoming something here. And the fool is beautiful, you know, to have to have this message and then to have the fool as your outcome card is perfect. All right. So best of luck to you, Power Four, and good luck. Enjoy your nap. I'll see you again. Bye.